Alrighty guys, what is up? My name is Nick and welcome back to episode 5 of Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition console gameplay. We just earned some XP, I'm not sure what, I think it's for discovering this uh, waypoint here. But um, I want to apologize because there hasn't been a video in this series for the past few days and um, that's my fault. I haven't had much time and um, I won't have much time to record until the end of the week unfortunately because I have a project due in my college course and I have a lot of homework going on and stuff like that so I'm busy plus the League of Legends rank season ends very soon in like three days or two days when this will be up it ends on Wednesday so um I gotta do my best and try and like rank up before that cuz uh I blown off playing the entirety of the summer in fact I like absolutely hated the game and um I recently got back into it and have been playing it what I would consider to be quite a lot. So we are actually going to go see Esmeralda because um, she has some stuff for us. Or I don't know if she has anything to give us but uh, she is a first. She is a person of importance. Uh, let's alright. Right. Um, the dirt pile seems to have been freshly fertilized and so we can either you know we and our shovels will uh, let's dig breeze. it up that's right let's get digging as you prepare to break ground all right time to get he is hoping we find you plunge your shovel all right <laughs> oh okay that happened. <laughs> um, so we're gonna have to load back. I don't know. We're gonna load back to here. Well, I did not expect to get blown up to smithereens, so, um, that was interesting. I, uh, I should've... I should've took the warning that there was a bomb under there, but, uh... I was too foolish and greedy. Want to find out. Want to find out. Hopefully this save isn't too far back. Like, I hope this is, like, where the episode started. Oh, thank God. If it wasn't... I'm not gonna lie. I would be so upset. And um even though I didn't do too much, I would be I'd be pretty furious like if I had to go through everything again. So uh we're gonna go back there. Not dig that up because uh stupid chicken get out of my way. Um That was a bad decision. So I was just saying I've been playing League a lot recently, so um yeah. Hopefully I'll get another video up with my friends um of us playing if you haven't seen them before, I uploaded two like funny kind of skit, not skit, but uh, something interesting. just kind of like montage of funny moments from a couple of games that we played before. So uh, let's talk to this guy. This is not Esmeralda. This is Daylong. Maybe we can steal some stuff first, though. Let's uh, let's see what we can uh, steal here. Alright, there's some serious moaning going on right now in this, uh, in this place. Getting a bit worried, uh, but let's talk to him. But if one so, but if one were to reduce the quantity of skull dust by a percentage of two, hmm, perhaps this stability could be increased by as much as threefold. Maybe I'll just let him speak. I don't know. I'm still not sure what I should do for dialogue. If you guys want me to read it off, if you want me to um, let them speak, or if you just want me to just speak over it, and then you can read what they're saying. No matter, no matter. Even if it couldn't spare its heartier specimen, I'm sure the order sent the individual with the next highest uh, probability. Tell me about yourself. Me? Why, uh, I'm. Uh, more than a little surprised you haven't heard of me. Perhaps I can jog your memory. All right. It was I who cured the Duchess of Arata of her unslakeable thirst. Uh -huh. A simple pinch of a tropa belladonna in her morning tea. 
I who discovered that aging itself can be halted by a single application of Secuta de Glacier on the So this guy is someone uh, pretty important, I assume, the way he talks about himself. Not to mention that it's been my guidance that has permitted my apprentice Evelyn to make quite a name for herself around Cicel of late. Ah, uh, so Evelyn is uh, his apprentice. Yes, yes. <clears throat> If that's how we're referring to the secretive use of a revolutionary healing method, she refuses to share with her own master. So see it. So she has some hidden power, some hidden healing method that uh, she is capable of. Perhaps you can prevail upon her to offer a demonstration. But uh, can you elaborate on this healing method? Out of a stone, supposedly capable of fantastic feats of healing, but she won't let me take the briefest look at it. So. It either is a healing stone, or it isn't, if she's keeping it secretive. And, uh, it could be something bad, since she is keeping it secretive, so I continue. But she claims to have gotten the relic from a little northern town, uh, Silver Glen by Silver name, Glen. And that an abbot there blessed it with the power So maybe this isn't the only town in the g game, if there's a, a town called Silver Glen. Maybe we'll visit it, maybe not, maybe it's just in the lore, some place far off that, uh, we won't get to see, but, uh... Let's discuss your apprentice Evelyn. Well, she certainly possesses a critical eye and an exacting manner when it comes to making difficult medical decisions. I expect she'll be a very successful healer in her own right when the time comes. She is learning from the best. This guy is uh this guy is pretty cocky, but uh he seems like a really nice guy, so uh if we have to make any decisions, we're gonna try and uh certainly. what would you like to know? Be friendly towards him. Does he know anything about Jake's murder? Terrible loss that. Though we were hardly more than acquaintances, I knew him to be a devoted civil servant. From what I can tell, it seems to be a simple case of jealousy turned violent. The affairs of his wife, Esmeralda, were hardly a secret. So this guy believes it was Esmeralda who killed Jake. He doesn't know a whole lot, so um, that doesn't help out too much. To but uh, let's find out about the undead here. Continue. I declare it an act of the Almighty's, if I believed in such things. Some events, Source Hunter, can be neither controlled nor understood by mere men. Alright, so, this guy seems pretty cool. Um, let's go find out what this moaning is, because this is getting annoying, but uh, let's talk to Midori, because she has something to say. That relic of Evelyn's, the so-called healing crystal. I've seen one like it before, and by the Patriarch's pockets. It's a relic of source. It's a relic of source. Kind of curious what that means, because I, uh, I honestly don't know. Continue. One look at that gem will be enough to convince me it's no force of good, but a bloodstone through and through. Alright, so, whatever a bloodstone is, it can't be something good, because Medora here thinks it's something bad that, uh, that could have pretty disastrous effects. A bloodstone, you say. Tell us more. Yeah, let's uh, find out about what this is. Alright, yeah, let's uh. I've come across such a stone. I'm not sure what it is. It may be capable of healing, as the good doctor describes, but its origins are as dark as midnight. Alright. Bloodstone is so named for a reason, you see. What starts as a pretty gem. Is corrupted by six sorcerers who infuse it with the blood of the slain. You know, she sounds like a very southern person. She has that like country that accent. Stone is what I suspect. I wouldn't trust Cecile's so-called healers any more than I trust a pyromancer on a wooden boat. All right. So uh, there's a lack of trust towards Evelyn. And uh, this here is Evelyn. Alright, so she's trying to kick us out. Let's find out uh, I'm sorry. what's going on it's here. This task. I'm just... Who am I to meddle with life and death mm -hmm. this way? I'm an apprentice of the healing arts. Healing. But this decision feels like precisely the opposite. I have but one healing stone, you see. And two direly wounded men who need it. Alright, so, uh... Two men are dying, and uh, she has one healing stone that can be used to save one of them. Which is kind of unfortunate. So uh, let's find out some more. I've been my 
brain trying to decide on the best method to settle this grave situation. But perhaps it's better off in the hands of an esteemed source hunter. Surely you are more accustomed to weighing life and death. Oh, than I. of course. Um, way to put that decision on me. Uh, we could kill them both and make it fear, I guess. Uh, let's find out more about the patient. Would you like to know? Uh, let's find out about Boris here. One of the brave few willing to traverse the trade routes plagued by the undead. A young man, but excellent in matters of business, before he fell victim to an orcish club in the north. Alright. Thankfully for him, a cattle trader found him, nearly dead, but not mm -hmm. quite so, and brought him here straight All right. So, uh, Boris was traveling, got hit by an orc club, and, uh, got brought here. He's in a severe state. Let's find out about Steven. Quite the venerable staple of Cecile, Steven, and recently so Steven's an important character around, uh, Cecile. And, uh, he just had his third grandchild, which is really unfortunate that he ended up here, because, uh, that really sucks, so. So everyone here knows him, too, so, oh man, this is a hard decision. About your healing stone. Let's find out about this first, before we make any decisions that, uh, that could impact someone. Uh huh. I myself was nothing if not skeptical of his claims, but something happened as he handed me the stone. A small cut on my finger instantly healed, All right. leaving no trace of the wound. It's pretty amazing. A uh, healing stone can do such a thing. But it's strange. The stone is only good for a single use at a time before it reverts to a useless inert state. It takes time to regain All right. its magical properties. So that's unfortunate because uh, that means one guy has to die. So uh, let's make this decision. You are? Oh, to be honest, I'm not ready. Not at all. Help. Boris's life has just begun. We can't cut it short now. He should receive the stone. Stephen should receive the stone. We know full well the difficulty of growing up without a family. Oh, this is such a hard decision. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Stephen uh, should receive the stone. We know full well the difficulty of growing up without a family. Ah, oh, this is so hard. This is so hard. We're gonna go with Boris for her. Boris has an entire life ahead of him. Boris has an entire life ahead of him. We're giving him 45, 40, 50 more years, while Stephen only has half as many left to him. Steven's death will hurt far more lives than Boris's will. Let's minimize heartbreak of this terrible situation and save Steven. Imagine the joy on his wife's face, his children's faces when Steven returns to them. Isn't that a scene you'd like to see? If you'd like to kill Steven, perhaps I'll let his family have at you when you deliver the news. I'll even loan his wife my favorite stud club. Uh, we gotta go with the Intimidate. And then, uh, let's go with that. And uh, we're playing some rock, paper, scissors, shoe. Um, am I gonna have to decide for both of them? Because that seems kind of weird. Uh, we're gonna go with the rock. Oh no, it's random, so I don't get to choose what she picks. Um, scissors. Oh no, it's tied up. Tie game. Paper. Nope. I'm in the. I'm losing. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know if I want to lose or win. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, do you really feel good winning or losing? Ah, oh, man, she wins the next one. Oh! Alright, we'll right, who's way. being saved? I forgot who I even chose. Alright, Boris is being yes. saved. I'm kind of glad Boris is being saved just because he was so young. Um, I do feel really bad for Steven, but I guess this is... Fair? That's not. No, no, this is highly abnormal. Oh god, what's going on? Oh, crap. Um, hello? Good job, Evelyn. Good job. You had one job to heal him. You couldn't heal him? You know what? I feel like this whole situation is very, like, unbelievable. Because let's be honest, 
They both arrived at the hospital at the same time. She couldn't have used the healing stone once on one of them and then waited and then used it again on the other person. Like it, it could have been easily evaded. So anyways, we are in the middle of space? Question mark? I think this is space? I don't know. What is this? Is this Dobby? It's a house elf. The end of space and time. This place is actually really cool. It's like wizardry and magic and all that crazy nonsense. Who are you and how did you get here? Zigzags. It's a really cool name, Zigzags. Um, of course, it's not a name that you'd probably want because it's kind of uh, it's kind of out there. So, um, it'd be pretty cool though. One, two, three. How you got here, though? That's a rather more interesting so He doesn't even know how we got here. And, uh, to be honest, I'm confused as well. I'm going to assume it was Evelyn Stone, because as soon as she decided to use it, something bad happened. So... You know what's another funny thing? Evelyn isn't here either, so... That's kind of confusing. Why is this place, as you say, shrinking? Alrighty. Time ought naturally to have no end at all. Indeed, I can think of no worse nightmare for a chronicler such as myself. This guy is pretty crazy. Um, how can time come to an end? Don't tell, I always say. So go, peer through yonder looking lens and feast your soon to be terrified eyes on the darkness that is a. Alrighty. Um, let's, uh, let's look through this telescope here. Whoa. There was a dragon. That was, that was, I ain't gonna lie, that was pretty cool. Um, let's look around before we talk to this guy. Oh, nope, I don't want to use the telescope. Alright, let's get out of that. Um... There's another portal here. Kind of got dragged into conversation with this guy here. We're the key. Alrighty. So this portal is only active because we showed up. What was through the looking lens? That dragon. Pretty cool. Um, maybe it's like a dragon of time or something like that. Alright, so the dragon's bad. And, uh... Oh, so the dragon's the end of time. Like, he's gonna be the end of civilization and humanity, I guess you could say. Um, I'm gonna assume that's going to be the final boss fight. Um, I don't think anything could get more crazy than fighting a dragon, which is gonna be pretty awesome. Um, I was kinda confused because all the like, combat in this game is ground combat, so uh, flying combat would be pretty interesting. You believe we are connected? It's not that I believe, it's that I have seen! Long have I been waiting here, hoping that one day this very portal would ignite. Alright, continue. Then, no longer than a few mere moments after you arrive, zap it goes! The Chronicler of Time knows a pattern when he... What lies beyond this portal? Ah, though I cannot say for certain... Alright, so he doesn't even know it's beyond it, but uh... Alright. In fact, every last 
question that ever plagued your noggin might well be answered, for I believe what lies beyond this portal is nothing other than... That was a cliffhanger. Um... But why spoil the Oh, mystery? it really is a cliffhanger. As soon as we leap through... We'll through the portal, then. After you, after you. Oh, what wonders we may find on the other side. This guy is filled with joy. Uh, let's just see if there's anything over here to loot. Uh... All right, yeah, none of, none of that stuff is good. So open the desk. So, oh, a moonstone. We're gonna take that moonstone, and uh, I think that's it. So we are going to go through into the homestead hall. All right, there we go. Oh, that guy's uh pretty crazy. What's around here? Seems the oh, spotted exactly who there are a lot of portals, um, if these work the same as the portal we just went through, there is a ton of portals in here, oh, that's a, that's one of the portals that's in like the, uh, the main world, um, right over here, this one's like broken or like, kinda has like a magma effect going on and then this one's all snowy, so if you go through that one I assume you're gonna end up like, some kind of wintry place. This guy is like four hands. He's sitting here just chilling. He's naked, but uh, he doesn't care. All right, let's see what's uh. I have the last chest. The last chest. The last chest. If you believe yourself worthy of rifling through my what is this treasures, talking chest? Alright, so there's four realms, and uh, we have to go discover her lock chest sisters to open that chest, so that'll be a thing. Milady? Mother Nature? Nope, the Weaver time. This place is pretty crazy if I say so myself. Alrighty. You have brought guests. I that see. is us. We are the guests. Strange. It is me, Scarlet, Very and Medora. Guests. My reaction exactly, milady. It was their arrival here at the end of time that instigated my finding you. But why? Surely you must All know. Alright. This is a question better put to our guests. How did you arrive upon this plane? Tell us. Um. If you are truly, if you truly are the Weaver of Time, I imagine you already know the answer to you, to that. Um, I don't think I'm gonna say that, that sounds kind of, uh, arrogant. It was a stone, a strange stone that zapped us from where we stood in Rivalon to this plane amongst, among the stars. A stone? So, it was a stone that caused the great shock of energy that brought you here. That is correct. Yes, that's just what happened. Have you, have you seen it before? Alright, so this is the first time something like this has happened. This game has a lot of dialogue. Uh-huh. You appeared before me from the moment you came into contact with that stone. Starstone. Starstone. I now know it to be All cold. right. But, Madam Weaver, how is it possible? Do you not see all? Have you not woven all that is and could ever be into your tapestry? Like the stones, your guests are a mystery to me. So, uh, she's the Weaver of Time, but she's, uh, compuzzled with us being here, so, um, she's not that useful, to be honest, but I, I'm gonna assume she has a greater, greater purpose in this game, maybe later on. Or maybe not. It would seem that yourselves and Starstone are inextricably linked. Why and how, I cannot say. 
But I do believe that finding more stones will reveal to me who you yourselves truly are. So, uh, she might just be like a knowledge base where we, uh, where we kind of learn how to do stuff from and, uh, she'll give us, like, powers and stuff like that. What is this star stone exactly? Where does it come from? Star stone is not what it seems, Source Hunter. Its true nature must be part of a greater secret. A secret lost, even to me. All right. Do you see what violence my work has What suffered? wounds lay upon the tapestry of time? Is that the tapestry behind her? Is a that's a big old tapestry. If you made that yourself, uh, I'm impressed. It would appear that Starstone transforms at your touch, granting me new thread by which to mend the tapestry. Thus, it restores time itself. Thus. I see what the void would shrink. Starstone restore. Alrighty. Um. Yes. Though not gonna lie, I'm a bit confused at what's going on. I'm not reading the dialogue in its full extent. Um. But uh, if these stones can heal history, we must seek them out. We have the source and the reserve line. We have a mission that doesn't involve chasing down magical stones. Let's get the stones. Why not? Though I may not yet understand I ain't gonna mess with the weaver of time, who knows? You you alone, she could uh, set back time and turn me into a child, so... Yet We're not going to mess with her. Because uh, I'm going to assume she has great power beyond our imagination. Than pretty gems. Why, of course, that's what they were doing. I have recorded their doings, you see. Collectors of Starstone, more and more by... We're gonna have to go find some stones, uh... Maybe we can just pick up some random ones outside and uh, bring them back. The uh, one she's uh, sitting by, we could uh, maybe bring her those. Without these stones, Hunter, there will be no Rivalon. The entire tapestry will crumble. Even this plane will fall victim to the Void's insatiable hunger. Alrighty. That shall never be, my lady. As sure as Zix comes before Zax, we will... Before Zix comes before Zax? Well, oh, I guess that makes sense because his name is Zig Zax and Zix comes before the Zax. Please, our most mysterious guest. Are you ready? Are you willing? Will you hunt out the stones? Will you help us restore been lost. what has been lost? Um, no, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to find some dumb stones. Save time. And uh, let's just see what Scarlet has to say. A moment ago, we were hunting source in Rivalon, and now we're being told that we alone can prevent mm -hmm. the end of time by way of some magical. See what Zigzags and the Weaver what will. I need more evidence before I'll buy into this wild tale. We can't deny our reaction to the Star Stone. There must be something to all of this, mad as it may seem. Still, it's quite a leap from finding a strange stone to place in the world's salvation on our soldiers. No matter how improbable anything is possible, if the Weaver tells the truth, we have some serious work ahead of us. Let's go with that. No matter how improbable. Anything is possible. If the weaver tells the yep. truth, I just read that. Alrighty. Here we go. Romantic. Plus one. Mm-hmm. Again, that booty. Alright. Let's see. Actually, this is lit up over here, so, um... Let's see. I think, actually, Scarlet can level up. You know, I did this before, but, um... I think it's because of uh we died at the beginning of the episode. Which uh which sucked, but um oh well. We're going to level up hmm. not defense skills. Fortunately I can't put any more into the ones I really want to. Nasty deeds. Um What do we wanna do? We're gonna do bow just cause um Just cause she'll probably end up using bows sometime in the future. Um, who do we need to talk to? Zigzags. Alright. Alrighty. So, um, we gotta mend this tapestry, which is, uh, sounds like fun. 
I mean, I don't see why you can't just sew it. I mean, all you do is literally just sit in that chair all day, the weaver. You can uh, weave that tapestry again. I'm sure. But, uh... Mm -hmm. Alright. Weaver time said our finding Starstone helps her weave the tapestry once more. How is that possible? Um, I have some questions for you. If I'm supposed to search for the Starstone, it would be handy to know where to start looking. I still don't understand how the Starstone and Void Dragon are related. You say you are the imp historian but you seem to be more than a mere imp and more than a mere historian don't you find it somewhat lonesome being the sole chronicler of time all right let's just uh go through the questions one at a time all right once Charis by Devious Sorcerer. Um, so they're they found in ancient places of this world, so like temples and like stuff like that, shrines maybe. Alright, going unarmed seems pretty foolish, so uh, you can be certain that we won't do that. I still don't understand how Starstone and the Void Dragon are related. Alright, he doesn't understand either. So that question wasn't needed. So we're the enemy of the Void. The Void Hunters. Alright. There's a lot of dialogue in this game. Man, whoever wrote this got their job. It's hours on end of writing story. I mean, there must be so much dialogue in here to write a book. At least a book. Alright, so this guy is immortal, which is pretty cool, so he can't die. He has to record all of history, which kind of sucks, so that's what all the uh, books were for in the other place, so continue. We have to gather those star stones, but do it better than close the dark eye of the void forever. So we have to try and close the void. Don't you find it lonesome? Alright, um, let's try and speed through this. Well, this episode is dialogue, I understand. I kind of really want to get back into combat as soon as possible, but uh, in order to progress, we have to go through this. Um, Alright, so he's going to stay here and bother the Weaver of Time. Alright, I'll take my leave. Continue. Sorry, I'm skipping through this, but, uh... I don't want to talk to everybody forever. So you've received a rune that allows you to quick trial press... Select or start? I don't know which it is anymore, but to ask the game menu and select a waypoint to instantly... Alright, understood. Um... We've already found out plenty about here, so... They're gonna stay there house elf and uh we're gonna go to waypoints 
and we're going to travel to the north gate and uh loading screen here and uh if i'm correct we're going to end up at one of the giant waypoint like shrine things that we've um found along our journey so far we're going to be back in Cecile if i predict correctly and we are we're back here oh aru is here I welcome you once again to the realm of Rivalon after your travels through the chasms of space. Nice to have found a shelter, wouldn't you agree? Where you can come to know Indeed. Our... I know the imp historian has told you about his agent on Rivalon, and that agent is I. So now that you know of the alliance between me and... So Sir he Zixx, knows zigzags, which is uh, pretty crazy. Starstone. Let us do indeed. I would greatly value Zigzag's agent's advice. And I'll be delighted to give it. Dark webs are being woven This seems a bit more important than Jake's murder. Unfortunately, uh, poor Jakey Poo, because, uh, spiders are trying to catch. he's dead, but we gotta move on. And, uh, if we don't save the world, the end of time will be upon us all. His foul murder and the plight of dying time must somehow be interconnected. Alrighty. That means the task you have been given remains. Jake was a Starstone collector. Find the assassin that did away with Jake, for you're bound to stumble um, on Starstone along That's the fishy, cause. While you were being if Jake was a Starstone collector, and the, and the stone that Evelyn had was a Starstone, if you link two and two. Evelyn may be the murderer of our dear friend, Counselor Jake. The advantage of being a Just saying. You go where mm -hmm. you please with impunity. And maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But um, we're gonna go back and talk to Evelyn soon. That's where I saw them in a cabinet. Mere slivers. So Jake has tons of these star stones, it seems, or a had, I should say. They lay there. Silent and innocent. Why is it so particularly nice for us to have found a shelter somewhere? Speaking of Evelyn and the Starstone, though, Evelyn wouldn't tell Thalon, I forget her master's name, but she wouldn't tell him how she acquired it, which is kind of fishy, and uh, she won't let him see it. So, um, Evelyn, it's not looking good for you, mate. By necessity, call any patch of ground they rest upon home. All right. Like any cat worth its salt, though I deeply cherish a secret refuge unbeknownst to anyone. To be able to repose without a care is such a precious circumstance. Save it all to. I wonder, do you put absolute credence in the words of Zigzag's time void, the looming end? Um. Yeah. Let me phrase it like zigzags might. A universe without time is like a pen without ink. All right. A pointless instrument. It is void. It is death. It is death. Creation. I'll not pretend to have all the answers, all that I understand, all that is happening here and out there among the stars. But I do know I'd rather err on the side. All right. Of so he's worried. If zigzags worries. I. Um. I think we should be to the end of time and all this stuff. The How did you become Zigzag's agent? You. I met him first, a long they met a long time ago. ago. He wondered aloud what on earth a cat was doing out there in the scorching desert. Then shared what little food and water he had. Zigzag sounds like a really good guy. So I told him who I was and showed him my human. So he doesn't show many people his human form, and he takes and advantage of his cat form to get around. Because that's how he found out Jake had these stones. In the end, he even shared his great sorrow with me. The unspeakable thing you saw through his looking lens. So he's seen the dragon too, but and uh, to help him in he's any frightened. Way I could. And he should be. Now, All right, so we'll take our lead. Helping the to Before you go, here, take this teleporter pyramid. A handy toy teleporter indeed pyramid. that Zigzags asked me to give to you. You'll need the other one too if you want to make use of its powers, but alas, I... So we need to find another half of this uh, teleporter pyramid. 
Don't worry, make though. use of it, but um, use this now that this matter has been settled, hunters, I shall detain you. No, we'll longer. have to go find that too. Rest assured, I'll do my share of hunting too. So, if you spot a white cat during your travels, do stop to see. All right, hello. farewell, Aru. You can uh, run off now. Oh, Teleport appearance, achievement unlocked, and uh, there we go. We just got back to Cecile. So um, I'm going to end the episode here. We got quite a bit done. We went to the end of time, met a bunch of new characters, and discovered the plotline of this game. So um, we'll be back very soon in the next episode, and we'll see what's going on. We'll talk to Evelyn, and uh, we'll do some more investigating around town, and eventually we'll get into some more combat outside the walls of Cecile. So until then, guys, hope you had a... Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and as always... I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.